So what is the My Disney Experience app? We're going to talk about all of that and how to use it on today's episode of The Edge of Main Street. My Disney Experience app is a really helpful tool that Disney provides all of its visitors to help navigate their way around the park and kind of plan their trip. Today we're going to talk about all of the things that you can do. The first thing is you have to make sure you have a My Disney Experience account. You can do that on the app or you can do that online. So you can go to MyDisneyExperience.com and create an account. So after you have your My Disney Experience account all set up, you can go into the app and sign in there. Once you're there, then you'll just need to link your reservations or link your tickets to your My Disney Experience account. If you need help with this, you can always ask your travel agent, but it's pretty intuitive and easy to walk through. A couple of the basic things that you can do on the app, you can check park times and show times. You can also buy tickets if you haven't already bought your tickets. You can even check in at your resort before you arrive. It's helpful to check in a few days, even a few weeks if you have special requests, and you can do that all from the app. The next thing you can do on the My Disney Experience app is you can find rides and their wait times. You can find restaurants, both quick serve and sit down. You can find characters, you can find restrooms, and you can filter it by park. So you can click the filter button and you can look at which park you want. You click it and it takes you to that park on the map. You can also find shows and when they start. So you can basically find anything you want to on this map, even more than you would, you know, think. I would think rides, yes, restaurants, yes, but like the restrooms, the baby care center, guest services, they have all of those things on the map. The map is one of the most useful tools on the app. So the next thing you can do on the My Disney Experience app is you can get your Fast Passes. If you're staying on Disney property, you can actually get your Fast Passes 60 days out. And if you're staying off Disney property, you can get them 30 days out. But each person in your party gets three Fast Passes a day, and you can actually, on the app, change the time, change any Fast Passes that you want to a different time maybe, if that works better for your schedule. Also, after you use all three of your Fast Passes, you can schedule a new Fast Pass to use that day. The Fast Pass part of the app is really helpful and useful because you might have a plan and then realize, oh, this Fast Pass isn't really going to work. So you can go into the app and actually change it. You can look for different times. It might not be available, but it might. Or maybe you weren't able to get a Fast Pass for a ride that you really wanted. Well, now there's one available. So having the ability to change and adjust your Fast Passes on the app, on your phone that's always with you and not having to run to a kiosk is really helpful. And then like she said, having that fourth fast pass availability, as soon as you go through the turnstiles for that third fast pass, you just pull up your phone and you start looking for your fourth fast pass. So again, that part of the app is super helpful. Another helpful tool on the app is being able to look at all of the restaurants. So when you click on a restaurant, you can actually do several things. You can look at their menu and you can pull up and look their lunch menu, their breakfast menu, their diet or their dinner menu, whatever's available. Some of the restaurants in the app actually have the allergy menus as well. And again, for an allergy fam, super, super beneficial. Another thing you can do on the app while looking at the restaurants is you can actually make reservations or change your reservations. So you can pull up the restaurant, look for available times. You can look by breakfast, lunch, dinner. You can look by a specific time and then add your party, how many members that are going to be there for the reservation. And it will pop up with available times or no available times. So you can look at other things. You can also adjust your time. So maybe in a few days, you know that you're going to be going to a specific restaurant, but you think you might be getting there a little bit later. Maybe you don't want to wake up that early for breakfast. There's always a possibility that someone else has canceled a reservation or that there's just something open. So you can go in and actually modify your reservations. I've been known months beforehand to adjust my reservations all the time. Plans are changing, people are changing, things are changing. So you can always go in and modify. At quick serve restaurants, you can actually mobile order. 
I think almost all of the quick service restaurants in the Disney parks actually have the mobile order option. And there are now several resorts and Disney Springs options that have it as well. So you can actually pull up your phone, click on the restaurant, and then a little phone icon is gonna show up and it says mobile order. You can click there and it's very intuitive. Again, Disney has done a great job at leading us through this, but you can go through their menus and order, you can order drinks. And one of the other great parts about it is that if you have the dining plan, let's say, and you're trying to order and you haven't ordered your drinks, it will prompt you saying, hey, remember, you can have a drink with this meal too. So you could order it there. Mobile ordering is an amazing tool and I'm kind of glad not as many people use it because <laughs> it's super quick to go through and get it. So you can also mobile order your food from the app. So the next thing on our list is bus times. So if you're at your resort and you're on property, you can just pull up the app and you can look at the bus times of when your next bus is gonna come so you can plan accordingly instead of having to wait in line for a half hour waiting for your next bus. When this happened, when this first came up on the app, it was like mind blowing. It was so helpful because for years, you're just hoping that the bus is coming soon. You don't know if it just left two minutes ago or 18 minutes ago. So you're just kind of like, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. But now you can look at the app and you can know, oh, the bus is scheduled to arrive this time. It takes us so many minutes to walk down to the bus stop. Let's plan on leaving our room by here. You know, it just makes it so much easier for scheduling your travel to the parks and to Disney Springs. If you are on the Disney dining plan or the quick service dining plan, on the app, there's a spot where you can check your dining credits and you can see how many you've used and how many you have left. It's a nice way to keep track of all your Disney dining credits instead of having to keep a bunch of receipts with you. Yeah, we used to have to keep receipts with us or ask the cash register, the person at the cash register, the cash register, the person at the cash register, or ask the cast member at the cash register what our total was. Now it's a lot easier. You can pull up the app and it will show you exactly how many you've used and how many you have left. If you've bought the Memory Maker, or even if you haven't, you can actually go in and check all of your Memory Maker or PhotoPass photos. So again, if you've bought the Memory Maker, they're going to be there and they're going to be yours. If you haven't, you can still go in and check those PhotoPass photos or those ride photos or ride videos. And it's a great way to kind of get a sneak peek of your trip and maybe even the magical pictures that they've taken. If you're looking for more tips and tricks on how to do a Walt Disney World vacation, feel free to click either this video or this video and you can learn all of our tips and tricks. Take your pick. This one? You can do this one.